Ariel Hawani in New York City for the UFC 111 media workouts with Frank Mir, who faces Shane Carwin this Saturday night on pay-per-view. And Frank, I was watching you at the press conference yesterday. You, you know, you always sort of have your game face on, but you seemed a little more subdued than usual. Is that a correct assessment? Uh, subdued, like restrained? Or? You just seemed like um, you were very relaxed. You know, you weren't uh, very anxious. It just felt like, you know, Hardy and GSP, perhaps because Shane Carwin wasn't there, I don't know, but it just seemed as though you were a little just calm and cool and collected. Yeah, uh, I think that, you know, more and more experience under my belt every time I walk into, uh, you know, the fights. Uh, you know, all the things go with it, the press conferences and the weigh-ins and all the, you know, the, the, uh, the media attention. I'm getting more accustomed to it and able to associate it and, you know, and place it. And, you know, there's no reason to get anxious, uh, you know, except for a few minutes before a fight, you know. Um, it's not going to do me well, it's just burning energy. I did notice, though, that a lot of people asked to shake your hand, and they didn't ask any of the other fighters. Is there some sort of like secret power handshake that you got that uh, I don't know about? Because uh, do you notice that? It was like 10, yeah. 15 people that asked to shake your hand. Yeah, I think that I'm just such a friendly looking guy. The other fighters, you know, George is such a scary, intimidating individual, and Hardy, you know, with the Mohawk, maybe the, I'm just more of a approachable. Well, the buildup for this fight has been very interesting. Of course, uh, you know, there's the issues with Brock Lesnar, but, you know, you got Shane Carwin, you know, standing right there, interim title on the line. Some have questioned, I just want to get your take on this, whether or not you are looking past Carwin, because there's so much that have come up between you and Brock. How would you respond to that? I hope not. <laughs> or if, uh, if, I, if on Saturday, I guess, I'm not looking to have taken uh, Carwin seriously, it's going to be a very bad outcome for me. Well, uh, Shane has never fought an opponent as tough as you. I mean, the, the going into this fight, the toughest opponent he's faced is probably Gabriel Gonzaga. He hasn't fought for over a year also. Um, based on what he's done, though, have you been impressed with his skills? Well, very much so. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people are like, well, he hasn't been the distance. I'm like, well, that's because he's successful. Um, you can't, you know, uh, taking a quote from him, you can't fault him that if any of the guys he fought has never been able to keep uh, to last longer than two minutes. Um, Gonzaga was a, is a world-class fighter, you know. He's fought for the title against uh, Randy. Um, he's always been somebody who's been, you know, swimming around in that area in the top echelons of the heavyweight division. And Carwin was able to uh, weather his storm and actually make short work of him also in under two minutes. So I've always been impressed. With, uh, since that fight, I've been paying attention to Carwin. In your mind, what is the key to defeating him? Um, just using the longer the fight goes, the more it goes towards my favor. Not so much as far as conditioning issue, but just the experience and just the knowledge of all the different intricacies of mixed martial arts is going to come more into my game. Um, obviously, you know, the, the longer the fight lasts, the more uh, counters and, and counters of counters are going to come into play. As far as uh, heavyweights are concerned, you have some of the best jujitsu in the entire sport. We don't know much about his ground game. Are you going to try to look to exploit that? I feel very comfortable the fight goes there. Um, as far as exploiting it, obviously it's going to be difficult for me just to go and take him down. I think he has a good base, you know, a very strong guy with an excellent wrestling background. But if, uh, you know, if uh, he takes me down, and I think that I'll, I'm not going to be just looking to jump back up to my feet. I'm going to look to go ahead and play on the ground for a little bit and see, what, see where he's at, where his abilities are on that, in that level. You called your shot against Czech Congo. Essentially, you pretty much predicted exactly how the fight would end. You feel comfortable enough to do that this time around? A little bit more difficult with Carwin, just for the reason being that uh, not as much videotape on him. You know, uh, you know, to his advantage, there's not a lot for me to study. You know, uh, maybe his disadvantage as far as when the night of the fight comes up that he has less time in the uh, octagon than I do. But as far as preparation for so, you know, we'll sit there and we're like, what does he do in this position? We all kind of got to shrug our shoulders and go, Let's look to his teammates and see what maybe some of them are doing because obviously that's what's going on in the gym. So a lot of it's just, you know, pot shots. Slightly off topic here for a second. Uh, I saw an interview with you on Fight Magazine where you said that you, um, you travel with a knife and a gun. Is that in fact true or did people sort of uh, misconstrue that? I'm in New York right now, right? Yeah. You can't have a gun here. Yeah. No, you cannot. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, finally, I uh, just want to ask, um, Brock Lesnar will be in attendance. Does that sort of motivate you a little more? No. Uh, it's funny when people ask questions like that, motivating, less motivating. There's a guy, uh, Shane Carlin, is going to be trying to uh, put his fist through my face. Uh, and that's not got me motivated to, uh, to move around and try to be successful. I don't think having Brock on the outside of the cage is going to add anything to it. All right, well, we look forward to it. Best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you so much.